What's going on guys? Hope you all are having an amazing Sunday, a great weekend, getting ready to start the week. Um, today we're getting a, a bit of a pullback across the board for crypto and I, I kind of just want to talk about, you know, the case is over between Ripple and the SEC and XRP is still 50 cents. So uh, that's the topic of the day, uh, but we're going to go over a plethora of things, just kind of little market update as we normally do. And I'd like to start with this video here. Uh, Crypto Philosopher says, when XRP moons, and if you don't own any, don't come crying to me. There's no second chances. Um, it'll be the most valuable asset. So let's just watch this little clip here talking about uh, the future of every blockchain. Every stock, every bond, every currency, every commodity, every piece of art, every bottle of fine wine, every collectible car, every piece of real estate, every private business, every everything. Everything of value in the world will eventually be a token. This adoption of technology, this evolution, it's not a revolution, it's an evolution of technology that everything of value will be a token on a blockchain. Not a coin, not a thing, it's literally a line item on a public ledger. Everything of value will be that. And every transaction of value will happen in digital assets. You don't need the pieces of paper. Wipe out all of DTCC, which processes $1.8 quadrillion a year. That is a large number. That will all move to digital. And when it does, it will create massive wealth. The greatest wealth creation opportunity I'm gonna see in my lifetime. So there you have it. And I think that really is the bigger picture that we all tend to focus on and why we, we invest in these utility coins over the meme coins and the other nonsense in the space. Cause we do believe that that is what is coming in the future. And I still think that, uh, again, who knows how long that takes. Uh, for you know regulations to come in for adoption to actually come in uh but i think that is the bigger picture uh and you know just try to stay focused on that when we have boring times like this right so here from amando pantoja uh, an article came out signaling that the sec doesn't really have a plan to uh, appeal the case because that's something that a lot of people are still worried about and they think that's the reason we haven't truly taken off out of here yet because there is this 60 day window for an appeal to take place. Ripple has basically stated they have no interest in the appeal. They're happy with uh, how, where things are at now. The SEC has made a statement to um, someone at Fox, right? And she came out and said that they're happy with it as well. But what we'd really like to see at this point is the SEC going around kind of doing interviews, uh, going on like a victory lap, talking about how they're happy uh, about the outcome of the case they're getting their fine you know ripple was penalized for institutional sales uh as securities so that would be a good thing to see is if the sec came out acting like they won even though we know that that's not the case that would be the ideal situation just to confirm that there isn't going to be an appeal i am in the camp that i don't think there's going to be one i think that this is this is done with at this point but that bit of uncertainty i think is still throwing a lot of people off and still scaring them that something else could come in and throw a wrench in into XRP again. So let's hope, let's see, time will, time will tell, right? Here from Crypto Insight UK, so now we're gonna look kind of over at Bitcoin a little bit. Obviously we had a great bounce from the lows, uh, pop up to like 62, 63K almost. We're getting a bit of a pullback today, uh, down to like 58, 59K. So here from Crypto Insight UK, approaching my first area of interest, oversold on the one hour. Um, do we catch down, uh, downside momentum here or have a bounce uh, before we continue down for a bit? So just showing how, here's the four hour, right? Getting a pullback, but on the one hour, we're very, very oversold here. So this could be just another pullback before we see more continuation up, like another sh short correction. Uh, I think that this is setting us up for a move back to the top of the range, in my opinion. We, we clearly deviated here. We pumped back into the range, and now it looks like we're just retesting these lows a bit, getting a little bit of a pullback. This is also going to create a CME gap uh, when the week opens um, tomorrow. So we'll have a little CME gap here to come up and fill to the upside. Uh, moving forward, uh, Crypto Insight UK for XRP here says it looks like this war narrative might give us entry we could be onto something showing how, you know, it looks like we might have had that might have been our wave one with the, the lawsuit ending. Now we're getting a bit of an ABC correction for our wave two before we really start to kick things off here. 
uh, and I think that's possible too. There is a bit of a war scare right now with a lot of stuff going on around the world, but we're not um, surprised by that. Like this has been going on all year, basically. Like the world's just been getting crazier and crazier. So I w would only expect things to continue to get more insane, uh, especially the closer we get to election time. Here from Crypto Michael, they want you to believe the bull market is over. The truth is we're only halfway through. Bitcoin breaking 72K will officially activate wave two of the bull market, the parabolic rally. You don't want to miss it. And this is what we've been saying for a while, and I couldn't agree more. Once we break out of these highs, uh, I think we're set for a really, really big run, just like we had a really big run right here and right here. Uh, and I think this thing's just kind of going to launch out of here. And I think that will be what kicks off alt season. Uh, from Credible Crypto, lots of people watching the green zone between 54 and 56K uh, as we have local demand there and equal untapped lows. That being said, heat maps are showing stacks bids right uh, right above that region, front running that ideal lawn zone. OI has been completely reset again on this little move down. Would not be surprised if we front run that zone and reverse before that. Just showing what he has on the chart here, how it looks like there are bids right below us and we might front run that that region and just get a bounce out of here uh, to start off the week. From Sensei, the biggest bull run uh, ever will start on this breakout. It's a massive head and shoulders. You could even say it's a big cup and handle. Uh, but yeah, uh, from Blockchain, Phoebe, I don't know who this is. No, I don't see it dumping again in August. I believe this leg bottoms on Tuesday. 61K was the confirmation. This retracement is just an entry. So again, similar to what I was saying here, how I think this just a small pullback before we see more momentum to the upside to get to the top of this range again. Uh, Crypto Insight UK, this chart is tempting me, XRP versus Bitcoin, showing how we kind of you know broke out here and we're retesting our range that we were in, right? So I could see something like this for sure, right? We break out, we come down, retest this general top of the range before we see continuation my first target is up here at this yellow box which would be a let me grab our tool from where we're at now that's a 63 percent pump against bitcoin so bitcoin's going up it would be even more than that uh here and again from sensei time for the biggest bull run ever showing this chart how that was our bear trap in his opinion from Chad Steinberg, I have the bank IDs connected to RippleNet from the Philippines. Look at the names. So he has a list of all of these banks that are supposedly connected to RippleNet within the Philippines. You could pause here, read some of them. He lists them even more down here. So who knows? You know, we've been saying this stuff for a long time. We know that there are a lot of connections out there, but until the price action reflects that, it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, here from the Crypto Philosopher, that's why XRP holders look crazy, holding for so long and no gains because the system is being built, which won't ever happen again. Uh, then when they flip the switch, we all retire and can enjoy our lives. The entire banking network is going XRP lol. Hopefully, hopefully that's the case, right? And finally from Kyle Chase, markets bleeding. Don't forget to panic sell and buy back higher, baby. And yeah, that's what, that's honestly what it seems like Bitcoin has been doing the past few months. Uh, is just chopping and causing people to get liquidated that are leverage trading, panic down here and sell, panic up here and buy thinking we're breaking out. And it's just been a lot of chop. So hopefully we can see resolution to this within the next couple of months uh, by the end of summer or right after summer ends. But we'll have to wait and see. Hope you enjoyed the little update. If you did, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.